Hey everyone, Shaber1000 here. <clears throat> Yesterday, we had to get a new TV. That's a funny story in itself anyway. Um, but when we was coming back uh, down on the corner here, people, a bunch of people set up selling. There's a guy I bought. I bought several items off of him before. He had this air tank there, so I thought, hey, I'll get out and check it out. So I did. So we're going to check it out real quick, shoot some air in it, maybe go see if it'll pump up a tire. So stick around, and let's check this thing out. So the first thing I seen... I seen this thing sitting there and I was like, man, I've been needing one. I was going to build one, but for the hose, the gauge, and everything I needed to build one, uh, it was going to cost me more than 20 bucks. But I was thinking, you know, I'd like to get that for, I'd like to be into it for around 20 bucks. But I asked him, I said, we got on the air tank. He says, ah, 20 bucks? I said, yeah, that sounds good. So I gave him the 20. Uh, like I said, I got him a few few times before, and so I didn't even talk him down, you know. I just, yeah, that's that's fair. So, 125-pound max. It says 11-gallon. Um, here's 6 gallons, so it might be, but let's go ahead and shoot some air in it. So if it takes air, make sure there's no leaks in the line or the valve there. Okay, it is going up. That's this leak in here. Make sure the, uh, okay, that's what I wanted to check. There we go. Okay, so let me get this filled up, and then we'll try to pump up a tire with it. Okay guys, got about 70 pound in there, looks like, so um, I got it turned on, doesn't seem to be leaking or dropping, it's been about 10 minutes, hasn't dropped any, so let's go run back, let's pump up the tractor tire. Okay guys, I'm going to order a monkey couple new tires today for this thing there we go works fine I got a low tire on mine so let's uh Put some air in this one. I don't like my tires sitting flat if I can help it. Yeah, this is going to be handy. I've been needing one for a long time. Because like before... Yeah, that's there. Let me let a little air out of that one. I put a little WD-40 in there. Um. 
my hose won't reach from the front of the garage where the air compressor is out back here. So I would have to, you know, like her tractor driving around on a flat tire or take the wheel off and I wasn't gonna do that just to cut the grass. So, um, yeah, this is gonna be a lot handier. Um, we'll do we'll do a start on this thing here soon uh, this is the battery out of the Toyota we've got to get a new one because it was junk you know it's just an ev no, never start uh, so we've got to get a new battery for the Toyota need to get one for this but um yeah the, and I need two front tires which it'll it'll cost more than monkey's tires but I'm gonna I'm gonna build a thinking about building a gas tank I've got a a little um fire extinguisher that her dad had in the vet that wasn't any good anymore you know it lost this pressure thinking about mounting that on here somewhere and building a little gas tank out of it but yeah we'll do a start on this here real soon um, but yeah that's pretty much all I got for you today um, I did buy a couple trucks on or at the thrift store here what a week or two ago and uh, I'm gonna do a video on them maybe later this evening I'm not supposed to do a lot today because um, I did a bunch of stuff for monkey hung it big TV on the wall and I uh, changed computer desk that desk I did for that company that sent me that desk that's almost a $400 well it's actually a like a dining table but it's like a four hundred dollar three hundred and eighty some dollars on amazon she really wanted me to keep it so i took my old desk out and i put that in the bedroom for my computer but um so what's going on here lock you in <laughs> but so i mean I really liked my other one. I put it out front and I, it was gone within 30 minutes, maybe 45 minutes. I put it out front for free. But uh, yeah, I really liked that desk. But so what happened was her team. Okay, well, first the stove. Okay. You guys remember me telling you we had to get a new stove. Now we had to get a new stove because the touch panel went bad in that stove. All right, everything worked fine. The burners, I saved a bunch of stuff off of it because we got we got a one that was just almost identical to it. I think it was a little newer. Glass tops a little different. The knobs are pretty beefy. So anyway, so I couldn't get I couldn't get a a, a touch pad for it, and. I could have got a touch pad for a new one because they still make that style, but they changed the touch pad and stuff. But the touch pad was like, gonna be like 190 bucks. And I was like, man, we just might as well buy another one. So we found another one, we bought it. But the thing about it was that the two years that that stove was made was the only two years that they had that touch pad in them up until recently the new ones which they're upgraded now but they was having problems with them those two years and we had to have one of the ones in the two year that two year deal so yesterday the tv in the living room working fine everything works fine well the first thing it's a samsung it's 2010 or 2011 and when our TV blew up in our bedroom a year or two ago, we was going to use that one. It was her mom's, one of her mom's in the bedroom. 
and I went and set it up and everything come to find out that Samsung didn't support YouTube on it anymore on that TV so we had to buy a new TV <laughs> so I just put that one out in the living room well yesterday monkey went to watch Netflix and it would show the thumbnails and stuff but it wouldn't play the Netflix so <laughs> I got online and started checking and sure enough uh, 2010 and 2011 on that TV two models the C and E or something like that there's two models that no longer supports you know the components inside no longer supports the uh, Netflix and sure enough, that had to be not only within those two years, like the stove, but it had to be one of two models, and it was. <laughs> so, we we went and got, because we only have cable in run, one room, and that's in her mom's room. Because Monkey and I just, you know, she watches her Netflix and the news, and we watch YouTube, that's it. So we don't need cable, but her mom likes to watch her shows on cable. So we only have one cable box, so out there they would watch their netflix so i said well let's let's go to walmart and see what they have so we found a phillips a 55 inch which is not great because the other one was a 45 or 47 so we we got her we got her a 55 inch it was 318 bucks so that's not bad so i hung it on the wall now she's got you know she's got her youtube she's got her netflix which you know she didn't have youtube out there before monkey and her mom would watch um timu videos and they would sit and watch together on monkey's little laptop so now they can watch it on the big screen so and i have a surround sound in the in our bedroom it it well it was hooked up until yesterday but so and we hardly ever use it so i'm gonna put that out in the living room for them so but th that that was kind of a funny story time monkey's like well i don't think it's funny well you know this has happened when we got the money to take care of this stuff you know so actually it's a blessing in disguise you know like my phone well today you know i let my phone set and battery finally went dead and today i plugged it in just to see what would happen and it did kick on and then it froze up again and then it unfroze so regardless i was going to need one because that's the phone i used for my drone and you know if that thing's you know if i'm 500 feet in the air and i'm half a mile away and that phone decides to freeze up on me you know I'm, the drone's supposed to come back but what if it doesn't you know so uh so i had to get that phone i didn't want to but but i did it so but uh anyway i wanted to mention dennis thanks for the shout outs and the prayers for monkey's mom but she is home now but uh she's not she's not doing well but um so yeah uh what else but yeah i'm gonna do those two trucks i might might do them tonight but yeah that that's why monkey said you're you're, you're gonna take it easy today because <laughs> i worked until midnight last night on mine you know setting everything up because it's a different desk it's actually a table but so i had to do a lot of things a lot differently and set it up differently but oh so anyway i took that tv and i'm using it as my monitor the tv that that wouldn't play netflix anymore or uh youtube because i don't need that i just need a monitor you know because we got youtube in the bedroom where my computer is so I took that TV and put in used it for my modern monitor and then the monitor that I was using was actually one of their TVs that was in their spare room it's a smaller one but oh so yeah my monitor well it was a TV that monkey had way before we got together it blew up so I was using this little 4.3 monitor like a big tractor mowing somewhere so it was real little so instead of buying a monitor now i was like okay so i can use the tv i'm using for monitor for my computer i was like well 
I just put it in the garage and that's what I did. So everything worked out good. So now I got YouTube Netflix in the garage if I want it, which I never watch Netflix. But I do YouTube so I can put music on, I can watch your guys' videos while I'm out in the garage messing around. So Alright guys, starting to get a little noisy back here, so I'm gonna let you go. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, we got more videos coming up. Um, I have everything I need now for the Toyota to rebuild it except for like oil and freeze oil filter and I think I'm gonna go ahead and throw some new coil packs on it I'm gonna need to get spark plugs but for the rebuild I got it but uh, monkey wants me to do the boat first get the hole fixed in the boat because some glass came off of it not the glass we put on but the glass that someone else put on when they put their stabilizers on they look cool but man you know you it cause a lot of problems later on with those things so i'm running into now she wants to get the boat done first so i was going to do it this week and other things kept coming up and it's supposed to storm this weekend so i don't know if it's going to or not but we'll see we'll have to see um but i'm not going to film that because i've already did a video on doing the bottom of that boat so i'm, I'm just going to replace a little bit a little glass in it and uh, keep it from leaking and try to get another year out of it. So All right guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Shea Bear the myth the man legend gone for now. Thanks for watching everyone and uh, We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye guys. Take care